hello there. Welcome to our little shop. Well, this is one of those interesting little stories. A customer brought this custom fender style neck in here. Uh, he'd had it in storage for a few years because he'd had it to a repair shop. They told him the truss rod had been broken, which, you know, the truss rod pulled out. And uh, that's pretty much the decision they'd come to. So he'd ask me about it when I was doing some other stuff for him. No, I said, let's take a look at it and see. I said, uh, we might be able to fix it. So I get looking at it, and what I found is one, this end of the rod threads into an insert up here as a stop, and it's unthreaded out. It's not broken, it had unthreaded. So then, further examination with the original truss rod nut. I got looking around and it was actually stuck on the threads here. So when someone went to loosen this truss rod nut, it unscrewed it out of this end. So I managed to get the original nut off. It's pretty chewed up and nasty. We'll probably replace that. So I got it off and got looking and found out that the threads when they threaded the rod was horrible and it had actually torn up the threads in the nut. So with a few tools over here, you know, tap and die, a little bit of oil, I re-threaded that, cleaned up the threads on both pieces to get it working. At this point I've actually put a set screw in here as a stop. So I have the length I need to get this threaded back in. So I'm going to clean up the threads on this end a little bit with the wire brush. Make sure there's no debris on it, no dirt, oil, or anything. I'm going to put a little Loctite on it. I'm going to put a little beeswax on the rod, just a little bit to lube it up so it slides in a lot easier. And we're going to see if we can thread this back in. So we're going to cross our fingers and see what happens here. I'll be back. All right, I've managed to thread it into the stop up here. So let's see what happens. We'll let this dry over the weekend. And hopefully when I come in next week, I can just unthread this nut right off of here. Take my Allen screw out of it for a stop and replace it with a truss rod nut that's new. And probably a washer because there's none in there. So, let's see what happens. Okay. <laughs> well, so far this seems to be working. We've got the truss rod nut back off of it. The rod stayed in. So let's get a new washer on this, since there's none in it. And a new truss rod nut on it that's not all chewed up. And see where we go from there. All right, well, the verdict is in, and we won. <laughs> Man, I love it when something like this works out. Uh, a little bit of time, I've got less than an hour involved in this. A lot of it, like I say, was taken with cleaning up the threads, re-threading stuff. Uh, he's got a washer in here and a new truss rod nut. I was able to back bow the neck. And I can actually take the pressure off of it, so I'm pretty sure we're going to be okay here. The owner is going to be thrilled because when he brought it into me, this neck has been laying for years. He'd had it to a repairman out of the state years ago, and uh, when he pulled the truss rod out of it, he said the truss rod was broken. So. The owner was afraid that he was going to either have to have the truss rod replaced or replace the neck. Like I say, it is a reissue style neck custom build from probably around a Maryland area or something at one point. Anyway, but we've saved it for him. So uh, I'm going to call him 
let him know about that. Somewhere around here is the other challenge he brought me. Oh, yeah, here it is. Hang on. Let me see if I can straighten this. <laughs> so we'll see. So anyway, <laughs> we will see how this goes. <laughs> and of course, I was interrupted by the phone with someone else that has a crisis. So anyway, all right. Well, we have the tuners back together. But we actually lost part of it. I was within probably... 10 degrees of having this perfectly straight and it snapped off right here at the top of the gear. Which, with being brass, that doesn't surprise me. It's a pretty bad one anyway. But what I did was <laughs> went to my stash. I've got tons of old stuff, so I found another brass shaft set of Clusons that were pretty nasty. I took it apart, stole the shaft, put his knob on it, and he's all set. So, there we go. So, full disclosure, I broke one. <laughs> sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Uh, so, anyway, but anyway, we've got to set of vintage tuners back together. So, there you go. End of story. So, till next time, play nice. I'll see you later.